too. That's yeah. super neat. It's quite interesting. Yeah. <laughs>
you can only charge like 20 or 25 dollars. Occasionally someone might have a real fancy one. Yeah. Um, so I have to get the I have to get the clay all roughed up. Yeah. So I just have a bunch of slip. Which every potter has. A pile of it. So when I have the kids' classes, they all need a tool. So I've got a bunch of tools sitting there. That's good. They say funny things like, look, a toothbrush. <laughs> but you've gone through a lot of the... Yeah. Pull off. Oh, okay. Pull the thing off. Weird. Yeah. There's different techniques. Yeah. So I already did part of that holding it, but... If I do it right, it will look seamless. Some people like a big fat handle so they can put all their fingers in. Yeah. Other people just want two fingers. You no. Know, depends on the cut. It depends on, yeah. I've had orders for um, handles that were way too big for my liking, but that's what they wanted. Yeah. Because I think it's going to break off. Yeah. If it's too wide. You know, when you want the thing to be functional. So see, it's starting to get kind of seamless looking. So I made these cups yesterday. And then I turn them upside down and tool the bottom so it has a foot. Oh, okay. That's cool. And then this is called leather hard when they're like this. It's so it's, yeah. And then that, of course, I can handle it now. Yeah. Whereas when I first make them, they're really, they're really gooey. You can really touch them a little bit. So once these are done, they dry for four or five days. And then I accumulate enough to put in the kiln. Okay. So the first firing is called a bisque firing. It takes about four to five hours, depending on how thick the pieces are that go inside. So I have the kiln partly loaded now. Are there shelves in the kiln? There are shelves, yep. Okay. How much can you fit in the kiln? Uh, it depends what you've made. I, I pack it as tight as I can. It's not cost effective to just fire a few things. Yeah. Like I just got these out, but there was all kinds of stuff around it. Things were stacked on top of each other. Then the second firing went after the glazing. Mm -hmm. uh, you can't have anything touch each other. It would be fused together. Yeah. So if something fell get fused over here, fused. it would be stuck, yeah. I've seen some wonderful mistakes where there's one big thing hanging off the side of something. <laughs> That's pleasant. Get a cup on top of the cup. Yeah, well, uh huh. <laughs> it was a vase, actually. It was a lovely vase this yeah. guy did, and then the cup stuck to the side of it. That's cool. And he just brought it out, put it out for sale with everything else. <laughs> it was funny. How many artists do you guys feature? Uh, this studio has five. Two painters, one acrylic, one oil, myself that does the clay, um, someone that makes things from nature, like baskets and... Uh, I got branches and stuff. Yeah, those, those palm pouches. And then the, the woman that does the handmade silk scarves. Oh, wow. And then we can share the time. Because in Spanish Village, you have to be here seven days a week. Uh, yeah. The hours are, are not too bad, the 11 to 4.